Hello Disney Infinity trainers, welcome back to another episode of my character review series for Disney Infinity 3.0. Today we are taking, taking a look at Sabine Wren, Sabine is her name. She comes from the Star Wars Rebels TV show, so I personally haven't watched it yet, but I do recommend you all watch it to get a better feel for her character in the game. However, she's she's regardless of that, she's definitely a very cool character. So we're over here in this desert planet of Tatooine. We're going to show off some skills today, but first let's take a look at her skill tree, as we do. So she has a, a few health boost options as well as the kind of team player ability. She also has the midair recovery and the athletic jump. So it's pretty straightforward here, nothing really kind of nuanced or, or very different with what she can do here. Um, I think the fact that she can jump fairly high is pretty useful as it always is. Although she doesn't jump quite as high as the force characters, which is probably worth note. Next we have her special ability which I think is pretty awesome. It's called surprise attack. So she drops paint grenades on the ground with the R1 button and then you can hold it again to detonate them which blows them up and there it covers the opponents in paint and also deals a lot of damage. And as per usual you can increase the number of times she uses it, the maximum number of bombs she can plant, the damage radius, all of that all of that good stuff there. So her special ability is very cool. She also has uh, melee combos. This is her melee skills. And she has a very nice finisher, which is that at the end of a combo, she can hold square and she throws a grenade on the opponent and it sticks on them. So we're gonna go ahead and try ahead. We're gonna go ahead and try to execute that and hopefully we'll be able to see what that looks like. And you can pretty much increase the damage of her of her melee skills and increase the damage of her finisher move. Next is her ranged attack which personally I believe is one of her biggest selling points even though those other two were were pretty pretty big deals as well. Uh, her, her blasters are very rapid fire and they also deal a pretty good amount of damage just because they are rapid fire and so I've go I've went ahead and I maxed out everything to do with her blasters. I, I maxed out the damage, the rate of fire, the number of shots that can be fired etc. So I personally recommend that, although her, her melee skills, she doesn't have a lot of kind of punching and kicking melee, but her finisher is, I think, where it's at for her. So she's a lot more of a ranged character than anything else. And that, that goes to show here because she, she is the marksman type of character, as well as a tech specialist and a super jumper. So that's her, kind of her skill tree in a nutshell. Hopefully we can get a good feel for that. But now, the moment that perhaps some of you have all been waiting for. We're going to go and take on some bad guys. Now this is the exact same toy box that Ezra practiced in, except at the time I hadn't unlocked all of these Tatooine kind of set pieces. And so now that I have, I figured I'd go ahead and decorate it like Tatooine. So let's go ahead and enter this gate, which is going to spawn a group of enemies over there. Right here. There we go. All right. These are the annoying ones. So we're going to go ahead and try to take them out with uh, our blasters here. Oh, nope, nope. All right, let's go ahead and show off her special right now. So she slides, drops a bomb, you hold the button, and there you go. So it blew up, and look at these guys, they're covered in paint now. Let's go ahead and try that combo finisher. Oh, you couldn't really see it. You couldn't see it, but she threw the bomb onto her opponent, which again, is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and try it again. Ah, uh, this guy's gonna be annoying. Nope. Didn't let me do it. All right, we'll finish him off. Okay. So I'm just gonna plant a couple enemies here just cause I wanna show it. Let's see, we're gonna try some enemies that don't knock you back. These guys might be good, but at the same time, they they, are, they seem pretty fragile. We'll go ahead and try them. He's like sliding, wow. We're gonna try to use our finisher on you. Bring it on. There we go. There we go. Nice, all right, cool. Very cool, so Sabine is definitely a very useful character. Like I mentioned, she's more of a ranged character, but her ranged capabilities are all very, very good. And I do enjoy using her quite a bit. Her blasters are, are very similar. They remind me a lot of 
Black Widow, who, if you've seen our Disney Infinity game series, was one of the top contenders in that series. And so I think Sabine can possibly give her a run for her money. Pretty awesome character overall. So right now she is a Target exclusive in the US. So, so until the end of September, she is only being sold at Target stores. So if you want her now, you gotta go to Target in the US at least. Um, if you wanna wait another month or so, she will be available everywhere. So she is also playable in the Twilight of the Republic and the Rise Against the Empire playsets. However, you have to find her crossover coin in those playsets in order to use her. And I think the one in the Twilight of the Republic playset is fairly early-ish, not maybe early in the game, but maybe, you know, not, not too far into the game. And I just started the Rise Against the Empire playset yesterday, and I have not found her crossover coin just yet. So she might be a little harder to find in that one, but all the same, she's playable in, in all those playsets as well as the toy box. So definitely a very worthwhile character. So I hope you enjoyed this episode with Sabine. Let me know which character I should review next. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day.